Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post. Um, also too, please feel free to leave a comment. I love uh, reading what you guys are writing and also interacting with you. For those of you guys that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. Um, this can either be your situation or your partner's. It really just depends. Um, on the energy and with that being said guys, let's go ahead and hop directly into the reading So let's go ahead and hop into it. Who is Leo currently dealing with right now? Who is their person of interest? Okay, eight of Pentacles How does uh, how does Leo feel about them? How does Leo feel? Okay Two of Wands or two of swords. I'm sorry. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo or a uh, Libra what is the current situation between Leo and this person romantically? Okay, Five of Cups. This person may have um, a Scorpio in their chart, or you may have a Scorpio, or this can also represent the full moon that's happening tomorrow. Um, what are some external influences or something that's blocking Leo and this person? Seven of Cups. Okay. What is unexpected that's going to happen this week romantically for Leo with love? Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Possibly have a Sagittarius coming back or somebody from the past maybe coming back or something's coming back around. And what's the um, best potential outcome for love and romance for Leo? Leo. Woo! Okay, Ten of Cups. That's beautiful, Leo. Um, all right, so... Right now, you guys possibly um, are at odds with this person. You guys um, could have came to like a level of realization. I'm saying that because the top of the deck, we have the um, Seven of Wands, bottom of the deck, we have the Star card. So you guys definitely could be, you know, have an argument over an Aquarius or an argument over, you know, a level of unpredictability or something that definitely needs to change in this relationship in order for there to be um, some type of progression or some type of forward movement. Now, as far as your partner is concerned, um, this person has a lot to work on, I think. And the Eight of Pentacles is definitely Virgo, but also the Eight of Pentacles is like an apprentice. So it's somebody that's younger, that's trying to work their way through and working diligently. Um in order to prove their worth, right? I do think for whatever reason, Leo, you are highly sexually attracted to this person, um, but you know that right now, things between you and them may not be perfect, and you know they have a lot to work on. What is uh, Leo's person of interest you to work on? Okay, five of wands. Possibly how they you know, handle certain situations with you, Leo. That could be it because you know the five of wands is is Leo. Um, it also could be the fact that they need to block out. Maybe there's multiple people involved here. Give me more information about Leo's person of interest. Possibly is a uh, Lib Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or this person can be harsh at times. Um, they may have quite a bit of anxiety. They may be a little bit crucial of you and crucial of your actions. And I think that sometimes it's like they speak without, you know, thinking a lot of times. And I do think that sometimes that, that can come off a bit cruel and harsh to you guys. Any more information on the Leo's person of interest here? Death. Um, you guys possibly could not be having sex with this person or possibly ended some type of communication with them. Um, possibly with a Scorpio. Over the Seven of Swords. I just think, honestly... You know, things were said or something was definitely done here, Leo, that's just not been rectified by this person. And I think for you, until this person has addressed the things that they've said and how they've hurt you and how their words have hurt you, you're not willing to open up. And I'm saying that because you do have the Two of Swords here. So you are in control, but, you know, you are in a defensive stance. It's like you're not allowing this person close to you. Um... You're being viewed right now as somebody who's single and kind of doing your own thing. Um, I also feel like, too, like now is definitely the time for you guys to really focus on yourself 
and focus on what makes you happy. And I feel like for you, Leo, right now you're realizing your worth and your worth is coming from you. It's not coming from another man or another woman. It's coming solely from you. And I think that you are contributing into yourself right now because your partner um, or your person of interest is incapable of it. How does Leo feel about this person? Um, it's weird though. You do want forward movement with them. You know, you, you do want a family with them. You do want them to grow up. The difference is, you know, they're coming in as an eight. You want them as a 10. So that's why I said, I do think that there is something to work on. And especially with the six of swords, there needs to be some type of conversation or something that needs to be said here between you and your partner. What what does uh, Leo want their partner to acknowledge or, or to vocalize with the six of swords? What do they want their partner to? Okay. So, um, page of pentacles. You may want them to admit like that, you know, what they were doing, it was... Um, Maybe you feel like they're taking advantage of you financially because you're coming up as the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you may want them to be the one giving to you. You may want them to be the ones approaching you. Um, what does Leo want this person to communicate to them? Well, let me ask these cards. Sorry, guys. What does Leo want their pers person of interest to communicate to them? Okay, uh, Ten of Wands. Um, and this came up reverse. So I think that you want them to acknowledge that what they're doing isn't working. And in order to have a successful relationship between the two of you guys, it's like you need this person to really elevate, <laughs> you know, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Um, one more card. How does, um, what does Leo like about this person? Their person of interest. A uh, magician. So uh, this person can be a Virgo or a Gemini. I think that you enjoy this person because, you know, they're very different. And I think that they have a lot of different attributes that maybe are not necessarily expected from this person. You know, maybe they come off as a king of swords and then bloop, they'll switch it up and now all of a sudden they're the king of cups. You know, it's like this person has a lot of attributes and has the ability to communicate the way that you need them to. What? Um... And I do think that at times they make you extremely happy and that they bring out the best of you because you do have the sun here. Because I said, what are they manifesting? And it's happiness. You know, I do think that this person really does or does have the potential of making you extremely happy. It's just, uh, is it consistent? For your guys' situation, you have the Five of Cups. Now, um, what's causing the Five of Cups here for Leo and their person of interest? The Ten of Swords. So there was some type of ending here, some type of ending to a relationship and ending to a Gemini. Um, I do think both parties, you guys are not talking to them, Leo. I think that you're probably the one that blocked them or you're the one that decided to cut things off with them. But what's the cause of it though? The Ten of Wands. Okay, so I just, there, there's an ending here. I hope you guys can see this. It, it's like an ending to something that was continually mind-fucking you. The fact that like there's so much mental like um, fuckery going on. It's like ridiculous. And I think for a Leo, it's like, yeah, do, um, do air signs enjoy that the games? Yes, at times, but I don't think Leo's do. Leo's like, listen, I just gave you my heart. Are you going to fucking love me? Or you want to keep playing games? Cause I ain't the one, you know what I'm saying? So I think that that's probably the issue here is that maybe this person had to pack their shit up and leave. Um, maybe they had to go back somewhere. Maybe they moved out. Um, I do think that there is a level of guilt here, either with you, Leo, or your partner. Who feels guilty here with this five of cups? Who feels guilty? The tower. Um, there was a level of betrayal here. 
So could possibly be from a Aries, um, Scorpio, or Capricorn, or they have this in their chart. So maybe it's not their sun sign, but they are heavily like Scorpio driven or they're heavily have Aries or something of that extent. But I just think, honestly, like what caused it is, you know, something changed, something happened really fast and things sparked very quickly. And I do feel like this person is probably the one that does feel guilty about how things have ended. Um, and the reason I do think it's this person, it's because it's the King of Swords. So over here, the King of Swords is here. And again, um, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, but they're coming up in a different way. They're coming up as somebody who's a little bit meeker and who is not as um, aggressive right now because of this tower moment. I do want to let you guys know that for sure. How does Leo feel right now about the current situation? Justice? You can feel like this is what they get. That if they continue to poke the bear, they're going to get bit. You know what I mean? It's like... How long do you think you can put somebody through this shit before somebody gets upset and says enough? And I think that that's you, Leo. It's like, oh, you didn't think that I was going to react finally? You're wrong. This is what happens. This is justice. This has nothing to do with emotions. This purely has to do with right and wrong. And this person is dead ass wrong. And for you, it's like you're the one that's handing down the punishment. And I'm fucking here for it. Um. So as an external block, you have the Seven of Cups. Our external influence are the Seven of Cups. Why? Why? Because of the Ace of Swords. Ooh, with the Two of Cups. I think right now, there's so many different possibilities right now. And it could be communication with a Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini. But I think that, you know, for you, there's so many different possibilities with how this can play out. And... I do think an external influence on why this situation isn't completely over for you guys. Like I see you guys are not talking or there's a fight, but things aren't completely over between the two of you guys, because I think Leo that you genuinely do love this person. And I think that you genuinely, you know, realize that and you just want them to do different and you want them to be better. But you know, that starts with the games and it starts with, Things not being shady, things not being hidden, things being expressed. Um, how does Leo feel about this external influence? Or block? You have the high priestess. It's like you feel like you're destined to be with this person and you're just kind of waiting for them to get their shit together. That's what I get. Possibly a Taurus or a Cancer. But I do think that you're in a waiting period. And as I said that, we have the Six of Cups. So it's like the memory of this person and the memory of what you guys can possibly have is really, really, really driving, you know, you to continue to keep a level of hope here with you and this person. Now, um, the unexpected is the Wheel of Fortune. Why is this here? With the Queen of Wands. So I do think that something is coming your way, definitely. Something probably positive. Something that's going to make you extremely happy because that's definitely Sagittarius, Aquarius, or Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. What's the energy of the Wheel of Fortune? Woo! Well, that's nuts. That just shot out and like stuck to my mirror, FYI. It's the Nine of Cups. You get some type of news. Something's coming in that's going to make you so, so, so happy this week. What's coming in? Okay, it may be a Sag. I don't know why. I said, what's coming in that's making Leo happy? And it's the um, temperance card. I feel like you're being blessed this week because of your patience. That's what I'm gathering. It's like things are changing and I feel like they change quick. And I don't think that you're expecting it. How does Leo's person of interest, how do they feel about the unexpected? The fool reversed. Okay, um, you know, one more card. They may feel like this is an end to the games. How does um, Leo's person of interest feel about the unexpected happening? With the Empress reversed. 
there's no longer an invitation here. She's no longer giving. You guys can have somebody coming from the past coming in, or there's some type of communication here that really, really sets you aside and really, really keeps you grounded, but also keeps you in a place where you're extremely happy with how things are going. You're happy with how things are moving. And I don't know, I don't think it's your partner. Possibly a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Queen of Cups is definitely um, Cancer. But the world. There's something coming to an end here. There's a lesson that's taught here that makes you happy. What's the lesson? Possibly uh, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Capricorn. What, what lesson or what karmatic lesson is taught here that needs to be learned? Why is, please. Whoa. That's a lot of cards, dog. You get, you get communication on something that you've been waiting on. You have the two of wands with the um, eight of wands. And the Knight of Swords reversed with the Three of Pentacles reversed. It's like this person, this air sign, this younger air sign, if they are younger, they're no longer having this effect on you. Roles have, the roles have reversed with you and them. Something has changed and that's what's causing you this level of freedom, this level of emotional freedom by yourself or with somebody new because that's definitely somebody, something that could possibly be coming in. Now, as your guys' outcome card, you guys have the Ten of Cups. So I'm hella curious what the hell is going on here, especially with, you know, everything that's going on. So Leo, with that being said, hopefully this resonates. And I love you guys. And um, bye.